Hi everyone, it's Erica from E Plus E. Um, I am still kind of getting ready. Let's kind of turn that just a little bit, and a little bit more centered. Yes, hello everyone. I'm still struggling with my waist. I'm so sorry about that. Just lit my little white candle. What y'all got going on? How y'all? What's the vibe going on? Um, what y'all manifesting? What y'all setting intentions for? This is a smell good candle. I love these candles. This is an island mist, Brazilian palm, and passion fruit flower. All in one. Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what y'all setting intentions for? Um, and what you guys are manifesting here the last few days of uh, May. Um, how has May been for you guys, you know, as far as health and as far as your finances, especially? So I hear that Taurus definitely rules finances. So how's that thing, those things working out for you guys? Um, I'm not here to hear for that. I'm here with some only murders in the building stuff. Uh, I got some stuff going, okay? First of all, let me say this. Don't, oh, let me say this. Okay, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video as much as you can, um, and just, you know, make sure you guys that you are sharing these videos. We're trying to get our followers, our subscribers up, rather. Uh, so just make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video um and then also make sure you follow me on um instagram at e plus e youtube e p l u s e youtube also make sure you are following me on um twitter at big e yes b i g e on twitter um Excuse me. If you do follow me, definitely make sure you send me a message, tweet me, let me know that you are um, you watch my videos and you want me to follow you back because I definitely will. On Instagram, try to reach out to me through direct messages once I follow you, or in fact, just comment on one of my posts on Instagram. Let me know that you have watched my Instagram video or my YouTube videos, and that way I can follow you back and we can converse over on social media or even here on, on um, YouTube, okay? Thank you guys for that. Um, so let's talk about what's going on in uh, season three and what I've been um, consciously looking for. So and that was another thing I want to talk about before I even get into that is just that how hard it is for me to find stuff. Like how do these... How does places like, like I follow a lot of different channels here on Insta, or on, on YouTube and how do they get this updated information so quickly? How do they get this information to them so quickly? I'm struggling. Like it's some, these things that I'm about to talk to you about have been out there since early part of May and I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it whatsoever. So I'm trying my best you guys to get the material out as quickly as I find it. I'm constantly on Hulu's different social medias. I'm following them on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, everywhere. Not Facebook. I don't mess with Facebook. But if y'all see something there, which I doubt, I'm doubtful that you do, please, um, you know, tell me about it so I can talk about it. Okay. Um, and then also, I'm following the celebrities. I'm following. I even following John Hoffman, who is like the director, writer, or something like that, co-creator. Something I'm following so many different people and I'm still not getting the information that I need. But I also figure out that they are going directly to these blog websites like Deadline and you and us weekly, and they are directly talking to them and not posting it on their own social media. So again, I'm still following as many people as I can um to get this information to you as quickly as possible because I mean I would like IRA, but at this IR IRT, however. You know, I'm not getting as fast as I, I would like to. I think once I'm more established, things will come to me quicker. Okay. With that, let's go ahead and get into what I'm here for. And 
Let's talk about, first of all, who is set to return. You know, of course, we have our trio who are going to return. Um, I read that Sass, or the character Sass, played by Jane Lynch, I read that she will make appearances this season. Great. Happy about that. I like her a lot on just about every but Everything I've seen her on, I've liked. Um, I also feel like I read that... Um, Detective Williams and Cindy Canny, played by the wonderful Tina Fey, they both will be recurring on this season as well. Um, and then, let me tell you, what's interesting is that Only Murders Hulu Twitter page, there a couple of their social media pages have um, shown Bunny, the, the lady who plays Bunny. And I don't know if they're going to show her like in a retrospective way but alive. Like, this is what happened on this date some years ago. And so that would mean she would play a current role, but it would be, you know, she's still dead. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And so it would be nice because I love me some Bunny. I love Bunny. She plays such, I love her voice. It doesn't, it won't take long unless you make it take long. I love her. She's like the quintessential New Yorkian for me. I love her. I love her voice. I love her accent. I just love her in real life. Like, like her, her herself. Although her name is in real life, but I love her. Okay. And then also, of course, um, Willie, played by Ryan Broussard, is going to return as. Oliver's son, and then also, we spoke about this also, Michael Creighton as um, the neighbor Howard Morris, he's returning, and they're saying that he's going to have a more, a major role, so maybe we'll see him every single episode this upcoming season. I don't know, I would love that, and hopefully he is, um, his love interest, uh, his neighbor, the, that guy is back, and they have a full storyline, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Also, um, who else did I think I would I, I think we're gonna, you know, of course we're gonna see all the residents of the Arconian back. Um, I can't remember their names on the top of my head, but I, I we're gonna see Ursula, all the the whole crew, the whole the whole residential Arconians, okay? Um, with that, some of the new cast has been their names have been announced. So, Jesse Williams, he is set to play a documentarian. Now, I don't know what his name is, but he's going to play a documentarian. And he is set to talk about, or he's he's documenting Ben Glenroy. The interesting thing is, though, I don't know if he's documenting Ben Glenroy before death or after death, or a little bit of both. Meaning... Did, did Ben Glenroy do something um, prior to his death? Like, it, did he, because I'm going back to the first season when Oliver said we should investigate the murder that happened down the street at the park. Was this something that Ben Glenroy was attached to? Did he kill somebody? Did he kill somebody? Because I'm still stuck on that. I still don't, so it's a big part of me that just doesn't believe that Ben Glenroy is the sub, like not the subject, but the only killing with the only murder within season three. Um, I mean, I keep reading that they're going to be plot twists, plot twists, plot twists. What are these twists? So I think there's going to be some kind of timeline jumping um, backwards and forwards. Um, and I just don't know. I want to know what Jesse went, why he's deciding to document track Ben Glenroy. And if it's his death, um, I just want to know. I don't, I don't know. What did, what, why is Ben Glenroy such the attraction for Jesse Williams' character? Is it something salacious that he did? Something murderous that he did? Or something just astronomical, like he was just an awesome person. He was a, a, a great traveler, a great inventor. Or what was it? Why does why is his character documenting documenting 
him specifically. Excuse me, y'all. I'm still struggling with my voice. You, probably, you guys probably be like, I don't see or hear a difference, but I do. I feel it too. So just excuse me. Bear with me, okay? So that's that. Then Ashley Park, um, she is set to play Kimber, okay? And she is a Broadway star. Yes. So remember at the end of season two, um, Oliver had gotten a call from, I think it was Donna. And he said, who's the, who's the, who's in it? And he says, what? Who's the star? Who's in it? Something like that. He said, what? And then that's when they cut to the scene of Ben Glenroy. But probably more than likely, perhaps they were talking about uh, Kimber was the star of this show. We don't know. Uh, but she is she's named as a Broadway star. So I'm just, I don't know if I'm just personally, emphasis, I'm, it's my own emphasis on the word star, but I think it's something to it. If not, so be it, girl. They say I'm wrong all the time, and I don't mind. It's okay. Um, so Ashley Park is a Broadway star, and then um, I'm just trying to figure out if she's the star. Then who is Ben Glenroy? Like, where does he fit in? Because it seemed like he was he was opening the show. That's what it looked it appeared as. But we don't know. He could be. That could be just the part that they did it that way. Just like in Aladdin. I just saw that play uh, Mother's Day weekend. And, you know, the genie was the star. I don't know why they called it Aladdin. It should be called Aladdin and the genie. Because that genie really, they take the animated series, they took the live action, action series, and, and the genie also overtook the stage play. I mean, that genie was awesome. He was phenomenal. Anyway, I digress. Um, what I'm saying is, <coughs> if she is the star, which I'm going by, is that who Charles said to Lee? Is that who does she was? The her was that Charles was telling Van Glenroy to leave alone. Leave her alone. Was it her? Okay. We don't know. We're going to find out very, very soon. And lastly, Meryl Streep's character's name has been announced. Her name is Loretta. And she is playing an actress, of course. Naturally. She's playing an actress. The actress playing an actress. What? Um, so, she doesn't just seem to be the actress. She seems to be like the lead of the classroom. Like it felt like she was the teacher of this classroom. She said it's like she felt it felt or looked as if she was sitting across from people and they were sitting across from her. Like she was looking at them and they were looking at her. That's what it felt like on that little snippet that came out like March, February, somewhere, February, March on Hulu's YouTube page. So, and I'm wondering. Um, if she is the teacher and also an actress, or if she's a student and an actress, whatever it is. But I just want to know um, how she would fit into this role. Um, yeah, how, how does she fit in? Maybe she's not going to be as much of a lead as I assume she would be. I don't know. I feel like this will be an ensemble uh, guest cast. If that makes sense. Is there such a thing? <laughs> I mean, we have so many standout lead actors coming in season three. We got Meryl Streep. Come on now. We got Jesse Williams. Come on again. We got Paul Rudd. Come on, come on, come on. Okay? This is lead. These are leads. These are people who are very established and nothing against Ashley Park. But I'm saying is these people have led. For years, especially Meryl and Paul Rudd, they have led for years. They've had their own movies for years, and so this is really an ensemble guest cast coming up. I don't know if that's such a thing. I'm calling it that. If it is, hallelujah that I got something right. Okay, but this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. So, with that, you guys, 
I feel like we still don't know who's going to be the celebrity resident Arconi and who's going to occupy the penthouse suite. I thought it would be Meryl. I thought it may have been Jesse. I thought maybe it'd be Ashley. No, we still don't know. Even if there will even be a resident Arconian, celebrity Arconian this year. We don't know this season, rather. We don't know that yet. We're still waiting to see who that resident Arconian can be. I'm going to do my best sleuthing that I can and see what I can find out. I mean, honestly, yes. Do I want some surprises? For next season, I do, but I'm nosy as hell, and I know I ain't going to stop looking until I find out something, and I will be revealing it. I don't care. If you don't want to hear it, don't listen. Don't listen. But I'm like, I'm very, very, very nosy, and I love to guess and come to conclusions. I don't care that I'm wrong. I don't care that I'm right. I just enjoy doing it. It's something that I really, really take <laughs> take an honest liking to, okay? Um. Yeah, I guess that's where I'm at at this point in my in this um, when it comes to season three. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna keep looking, keep scouting it out. What's that? What is that? Who is that? I'm going. Oh, cause you know who I think would be good, Stephen Tyler. I think he would be a good resident Arconian. You know who else I think would be good? I think um, Tony Shalhoub. Will play a good month. Ooh, ooh. What if Tony Shalhoub reprised his monk role and play monk at the Arconian? Ooh, swear. If that ain't a thing, can we make it a thing? Can I send that? I want to send that. I want to send that that idea to them. That would be so awesome. What a good, what a good trick. What a good, nice trick. Um, that would be sweet as pie. So. I would like that. Um, who else? I think for if it was a female, I think somebody like <coughs> I think someone. Hmm, I think that might be all I would think would be a good. Those two were pretty much the only two I have in my mind at this moment. Who would be good celebrity? Um, Arconians, resident Arconians come the following seasons. Um, I'm just excited. You know me. I'm excited. I love this series. Um, I just think it's just the best. It's the best. I mean, I would have known. I I just love it. It's, there's nothing more I can say about it. I just love it. It's an awesome, it's an awesome series. And even Rotten Tomatoes, they get like a thousand percent every every time on Rotten Tomatoes. Like they're so that's such a phenomenal cast. Such a phenomenal series, and I'm just I'm excited for season three to, to come on. Now, Hulu has again. I, I was hesitant to talk about it because Hulu never accept or never um, really put it out there that the season would begin August eighth. However, Disney did, and Disney is in the process of um, attaining Hulu. So, August eighth is definitely the premiere date for season three. And also, I think I may have asked this in the community, or I may have already asked this on one of my videos, but um, let's try to do a watch party. Let's try to do that. Let's try to get that together. My birthday is right after that, so that would be a good, nice birthday present for me. I ask that you do. <coughs> you know, let's, let's do that. I think that would be good. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to see if that would be something, um, an option for us to do on Hulu. I know Disney Plus allows it. But let's see if that's an option on Hulu for us to have a watch party. I would love to do that and watch the season premiere with all of you guys. That'll be something just like so phenomenal for me. That's just me. I don't know how y'all feel, but that's me. <laughs> um, and then I guess that's it. That's all I have to say about this. And I'm just, I can't wait for season three to premiere. I still need to get some stuff done as far as. I mean, because my board is pretty much going to look just like Charles' board in his apartment. Like, it's just, um, it's, I mean, that's it. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? I mean, how else could I, how, how else, ever else could I figure out who's going to be the killer? Okay? The who, the, the who, no, not the who, the who, the what, the why, and the why now. Okay? Period. Um, so that name's that. Um... 
One thing I do want to talk about that's not related to Omet Om- B is this Nancy Drew. Let me tell y'all something. I've been reading Nancy Drew since I was probably 10 years old, maybe 11. And I've been playing a game since I was about 14, the computer game. And uh, I am always and forever will be a Nancy Drewer. I, I mean, I just love her. I love everything about Nancy Drew. I love the video games. I love the dossier video games. I love, I love it all. I love it all. I did not care for the CW series. I don't even know if it's still on. Um, I just don't, you know, as far as CW series go, I don't like all the, you know, y'all know I talk about that quite a bit. I don't like all that tawdry, salacious, sexual stuff. I don't like it. Um, so I never invested into the CW series. It was just too grown up for me. Uh, for It was just a different type of Nancy Drew. It was a different spin on her. If that's what's working for those audiences, hey, you know, I wish you best. But it isn't for me. And anything I cannot watch for my family, my kids, and my mom, I'm not that I'm uncomfortable watching with them. Uh, it is not for me. So uh, that's neither here nor there. But what I'm saying is, they have a new game coming out, <laughs> game number 34. And I have posted a couple things about that on here. And so that may be something we end up discussing about too. Is Nancy Drew? games and i'm not a gamer but i do like to play mystery games and anything nancy drew come out whether it's a book it's a video game whatever else have you i think i will start adding nancy drew to this series to this channel um in the best way i can let's see and i think that's it for now okay i will see you guys later on in the week it's what wednesday I'll see you guys later on in the week. I am on vacation until after Memorial Day. I think I'll go back to work Tuesday. So, yeah, I'll be here. Y'all know it. Um, I'm going to twerk. Not twerk this video. I'm going to tweak this video as best I can. And move on. Okay. I love you guys. Again, please like this video. Like it, y'all. Look, hit that thumbs up. Okay. Make put some comments onto this board, okay? And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We lost a subscriber. We're down to nine, y'all. What are we doing? What did we do? What did I do? Um, and just you know, share the video, embed it, remix it, whatever you want to do. It's my videos are completely open to whatever. If there's something else you want me to talk about on this channel, let me know in the comments. If there is something you want me to change about my background, my appearance, the timing of my YouTubes, whatever, let me know in the comments. Um, and again, you guys, I just want to get up my followers. I want to get up my lights. It's not for monetary purposes. It's just I just want to feel relevant. Okay, I need the validation from y'all. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for, for um, tuning in. And we will see you. This week again, I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but uh, we'll 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 figure it out. We'll get some things out there. Okay, bye.